the time I forget that I have my microphone muted on my OBS. That will always happen. I am a professional streamer. Hello everybody, my name is Oral Chaos and welcome to the table. I hope you enjoy your stay. I am playing Detroit Become Human. You know, I could have played just MechWario 5 and then everything would be happy hunky dory and also like um, 12 minutes earlier. But all says Detroit, so I'm going to follow my word. I hope everybody enjoys the game. I've just as like a uh, prereq, this is my first time playing this game. If you spoiler it, I am going to quit. <laughs> spoiler the game or tell me the ending or how any of the choices work, I will quit the game and I will never play it again. You have been warned. Uh, first, uh, you know what, I'm going to go to Twitch and then tell it I'm not playing Divinity Original Sin. I am, oh, I guess stream elements didn't get the memo. Uh, yes, it's at creator dashboard. I can add. Some stuff. Let's stream info. Uh, no spoilers. First playthrough. Blind playthrough. Cool. Let's get the game going, shall we? I had just installed this, so all of the busy work of making sure that everything is good to go, it hasn't been done yet. I'm All right. Hold on, game. While uh, while you're here, need to make sure you're captured. There we go.
Maybe I should have done the setup before, but you know, that would have. You know, I don't... Ugh. All right, you know, this, the, uh, the shader complication process might take a while. So because I'm the streamer, I'm going to be entertaining for a while. <laughs> So the very so the so the shader complicate complication is going to take a while, and instead of turning the stream off, I'm just going to try and be entertaining. We all know that that'll not happen. So anyway, how is everybody doing? And thank you for the follow, Dorico Rants. I hope you would enjoy the stream. Um, so just as a TLDR, the game is doing its shader package thing, and that's taking a while. So I, uh, it's already at 5%, which means this is going to take a while. And so I am going to try being entertaining for however long this shader process takes. If I had known about this, I would have probably tried this for Friday instead. Probably would have tried it for Friday instead, and <laughs> I don't love crashing ads. Not everybody hates ads, especially ads that crash the stream. Uh. You know, this might be a perfect time to go and get some of my water bottle. I'll probably, or rather, completely freeze up and forcing me to refresh, forcing me into another ad. Yeah. Yeah. That always sucks. All right, while I'm waiting on become human oh it's at nine percent this is going to take a while isn't it all right so how is everybody's week so far mine is pretty all right it's not bad but it's not fine by any stretch of the imagination i've been feeling uh, some early symptoms of migraines, like pain behind the eyes, even though it's only winter. Though so it's probably just due to the fact that winter's kind of dying out early this this this, this year. And the sun is getting brighter. So I'm just having my 
getting migraines way sooner than I normally do. Winter is kind of dying out, period, until uh, the new ice, well, currently, we, you know, I've been watching many, a YouTube channel called Mini Minutemen, and he's an archaeologist, and he has said multiple times that we're still in an ice age, it's just been a long ass time since the glacial maximum and we're going to be getting a new glacial maximum sooner rather than later <laughs> so even with rising sea levels and climate change it'll New it'll neutral out when there's the great freeze and we're fucked. <laughs> Though don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm not a I'm not a weather person. Just manually end the ice age prematurely before that next glacial maximum. True or Maybe all of the heat and everything will trigger an ice age, because sometimes that does happen. Human civilization was not wiped out by... rising sea levels or high heat, it was wiped out by ice. Which is a plot of fro of Frostpunk. <laughs> I love that game. I could try streaming it again. All of a sudden, water of Africa causes clouds to increase the albedo. I don't know what that means in that context. percent this this is why we're talking about random stuff until the game finished with, with its shader fix how much light is being bounced off the earth instead of being absorbed oh okay so the increase in the abeto means that there's less heat on the planet, which means that it gets colder. I get ya. I get Now, I might not be, like, properly college-educated, because I only have a high school. <laughs> I only have a high school, uh, education, but I can learn stuff. Because it's white. Yes. Though I don't have a college education because I don't want to go into debt, which I... Or college. I don't want, I don't want to borrow money and go into debt. And not be able to pay it off because I definitely wouldn't be able to not in my job just so I can learn fancy things and hopefully maybe make the big bucks but I'd rather our system was different I don't need a college education for that Oh, it's at 21% now. Well, Dorico, I'm sorry that 
we're not in the game just yet. You'll just have to be patient, fam. You know, this might have been a mistake. This should have been a Friday thing after I have I had loaded it uh, like tomorrow or something. And we could just be playing MechWario right now. <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> you know, I'm 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 reading all the little. Infographics with uh, all of the androids, and apparently they have um, Asimov's first law, where they uh, can't cause harm to humans or and are unal unallowed to intervene. Though I don't know how perfect that system is in this game, and I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> I've already said this already. If I get spoiled on the plot, I'm quitting the game. <laughs> uh... I think that's a perfectly fair response. At least in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Though leaving a lot of work to androids sounds like a terrible idea. But then again, this is a futuristic video game where androids just exist in Detroit for some reason. Is it only in Detroit or is it so like background lore? I don't know if it's like only Detroit or is there like Nationwide or ev or everywhere, these androids exist. I have no idea. Though so I really wish the shader would hurry the fuck up. <laughs> it's at thirty-two percent. Please hurry up. I want to. I want to at least play the game today. <laughs> Well, been able to implement rather than ever trying to actually fix any actual issues. Yeah. Perfect example. Elon Musk. He does every bad idea imaginable. <laughs> and he and makes it worse. I'm sorry, the Dig was there. <laughs> uh, punching up is what everyone should do. 
uh, oh wait, there's also more, go there's also more, uh, rich people that also do bad ideas and escalated to extremes. Uh, see, I had another perfect example, but I forgot his name. Although with Musk intellectually, it's punching down. I mean, true. One could argue he deserves it, though, because he's a bigot. He's a transphobic, homophobic, racist. All right, 41%. Cool. I hope it goes faster. Uh, all right, who, who is the founder of Facebook again? Or at least the creator of it? I forgot his name. Oh, no, wait. It rhymes with Puckerberg. Zuckerberg. It made his act off the slavery of blood emeralds. His family made that money, but... He got a lot of the money that he has from his family, so it's still the same. And also, he denies that his family made money from Blood Emeralds, but he's lying. And also, strangely enough, really weird nerds like to defend him on that. Lots of other things. Which is really fucking dumb. Oh, you know what? You know what's actively annoying to me? And, um, the fat. Okay, here's the thing. He's supposed to be a contractor for the Department of Justice. AKA the U.S. He also never seems to actually turn a profit with his companies, and I don't mean the fake lack of profit for tax purposes, but actual lack of profit. Well, yes, because he's like the worst businessman of all time. All right, I know no one is seeing this because I have it on camera mode, but it went from 40% to 83% really quickly. So this will be done in like 10 seconds or so, which is really <laughs> nice. I was gonna... So 91, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Because it was a large file and it counts in files remaining. Yep. Well, it's a comp. Well, it works with uh, my configuration and hardware to create like the perfect. Shader combination uh, that works for my my PC. Also, it's stopped at ninety eight, but should be done in, in a few more seconds. Basically, it scans my uh, hardware and my settings and basically creates like the perfect what works for uh works for me basically uh, at least i think that's how that works
Anyway, yeah, I don't know why Musk is like the worst problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I always end up tweak tweaking settings. For my own convenience, if anything else. Should be another few minutes till the 98 is actually 100% and we could actually get this game started. It's already been nearly half an hour, but hopefully it won't be half an hour on the dot by the time this is done. <laughs> but yes, uh, speaking of Mop, he's supposed to be a defense contractor for the U.S. government, but he's actively failing. He just entirely buys and demands has no clue what he does and fires anyone trying to teach him. Yeah. Yeah, because he he is literally Karen. <laughs> uh, I'm correct. <laughs> You know, you know, the one of the dumbest. Now he just needs to move to Android. <laughs> he, he, he would die there. Uh, You know what's annoying to me? People say that Karen is a slur towards white cis head women, and I'm like, no. A, Karen is a name. B, literally just means anyone who ha who is old is really entitled and acts like they're in charge of everyone else. Exactly anyone can be a Karen. Also, the game finished. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Uh, yes please, subtitles. I want the medium. Please, English. Please adjust your screen settings. Oh my god, I love screen settings. Uh... Thank you. Now select your profile. Please. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. It just so happens that they're pretty much always a cishet white over class Christian. Yeah. Hold on, 
I need to change the volume cause it's loud. Headphones, volume. Video. Windowed, borderless full screen. Windowless windowed, thank you. FPS. Let's see, VSync. Yeah, we'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep that too. Medium, please. Which, please, why does popping up the player means I should see another ad? I know, right? All right. All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Joel, is that thing here? Why are you... Second. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it.
I... Stay sharp. I want everybody re ready to go at any second. immediate evac. understand how this game works now.
Don't stand there. That cop is alive. I saw his. understand how this the game's mechanics works. Taking the gun. Jump! you but she's done nothing wrong she lied to me I thought she loved me but I was wrong she's just like all the other humans listen I know it's not your fault these emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software no it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I loved them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. You have 
have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm sorry. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh my god. Friendly approach. Does Oh, I wasted too much time. I was learning how the game worked. I didn't know anything about the time. Can I try that again? I want to try that again. I didn't lie. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. And handles the kids' homework from elementary school up to Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow. Oh. Honey, it looks amazing. Basic model? How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range I at $7,999 with a 48 months interest rate. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode, contacts, emergencies. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Where do you have? Yeah, I know, right? That's such a terrible place to have. For you to learn the controls. Like, I have to hold down the mouse button and move it, and it doesn't really tell you that that's what you're supposed to do.
looking really pretty. Give the game credit, it's really pretty. 2038? Okay. Uh, this is where Zoro Rocco will change the camera because The time stuff happens in like uh, in this box here. It where the where the uh, like below the resume button. So I'm just going to. Change the thing. Would you like to go home now? Yes, please. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. Here, L let me help you. Oh, oh thank you. Dear. I wish it didn't pause when I'm trying to do that. Can I run? No. We built these androids to be our slaves, but the slaves are becoming the master. Twenty two more meters. Oh, I had to that dumb. I hate that. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. All right. I hey, these controls. I wish they weren't. Oh, yeah, just it should make you do on whether or not what you're doing is right. I know, right? It's slavery.
compromising both that anti-immigration crowd and the anti-DSRM crowd. Yeah. Yeah. They look essentially the same. <laughs> oh, I see. There was multiple instances where I could have done different things. Oh, I see. So instead of like, I could have done multiple different things instead of doing the straight road. Okay. It's a real thanks, I hate a chant. Yep. This is, and that time is why I moved by camera. <laughs> Well, that's an old and decrepit house. You coming? You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Same place, you know, anywhere. Right. TV on. This is real life dexterity checks.
Come on, yeah, that way. Rolling that one. <laughs> I know, right? I always roll that ones. Uh, I didn't know it was a quick time event. I hate quick time events. Absolutely do. Okay. After the first time, only one quick time event. Cool. I like that. Nope, nope, still more quick time. I hate quick time. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. game. Oh, are the rolling that ones of games? Yeah. Wash laundry. Zoom in here. business unless you want to piss me off you want to piss me off no Todd maybe you shouldn't hide it in the laundry detergent you dumb fuck Where's the vacuum cleaner? Like, I personally, I don't care what you do with your life. <laughs> 
If you want to waste it on hard drugs, go for it. But if you're going to be mad at someone for finding drugs in your laundry detergent, that's on you, you dumb motherfucker. Alright, there's a... I don't want to turn off his TV. Be rude. So, where's the freaking... Vacuum cleaner. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. I don't find all that's hiding in this thing I know will be used regularly. I know, right? It's like he's a total dumbass. Upstairs, please. This a uh, brand new button. Shift. No wonder <laughs> he has the antidepressants and taking black lace. That's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not going to mix well with his rug. Ah, uh, that's so stupid. Or, or, or red dust. Yeah. He's taking a drug and antidepressants. And he likes to drink booze. That's... The P of Fort of Disaster. room is clean watch it uh come on finally wakes up if he wakes up I know right Uh. 
There's a fucking mop. I hate quick time events. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Asking about her mother was a... She lets you open her box. Friggin' vacuum. Okay, downstairs. I'm gonna find this vacuum. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Dude, calm the fuck down. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
You know I love you, don't you? He tried you to know make I it. I love you. I, I agree with you, R Ravani. This guy needs to work. Like, actual help. Actual help. I wish I had found the friggin' goddamn vacuum cleaner. Also, there was apparently some other things. Alright. My care first guy. Skeptical. Alice. Warm. Cool. I like that. Apparently there was also some additional things. But I got a lot of stuff. November 5th, 2035. The same guy we got the paint for. Deposit package. Real burb. Burbies are not real. Okay. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl upstairs. Carl is upstairs. Can I go into these rooms? Yes. Is there a... There is... Stuff. Uh-huh! Automatic doors. So lots more stuff. All right, I should wake this Carl up. It was apparently some kind of rich man. That's a large giraffe. The gi giraffes are large. giant robot arm. I assume Carl is some kind of painter. In his spare time.
<laughs> Lots of robot crap. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if that staircase was functional. Oh, that's cool. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I hate quick time events. I'm glad I don't have to see that. <laughs> Yay, tasteful. And going up and 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 up. I wish I was playing on controller instead. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Oh, wait, I assume that's the closet. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Oh, I see. That's like those fancy uh, things that help uh, help people get up and down stairs. I see now. To the dining room. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. That's what Russia would do. That is something Russia would do. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Chairman of the UN announced at a press conference 
that we have never been so close to a third world war. He called on Russia and the United States to promptly renew talks before things get out of control. Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Win. I want to win, damn it. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. My apologies, Carl. I, I thought I should... Don't apologize. You did the right thing. I prefer humiliation to pity. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. <clears throat> I like Carl. Uh, uh. That's cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Clean studio. Oh, I thought I had already finished cleaning the studio. Okay. That is true, Ravani. Alright, I have cleaned the studio. No, I wait. I could see people who are disabled in some way using robots so, like that. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. I love Carl. 
<laughs> All right, Marcus. Find a subject to paint. And we could have painted Carl for all we can. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Okay, I don't have to hold this, right? Of course, right. Hey, Dad. Leo. Love is that the whole reeks of a soon to be realized tragic ending for our. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Yeah, I feel like there's right? something going to happen soon. Yeah, looks so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well. It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? No, it's because me, Dad, the son's got that I don't. It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. more human than him. Also, that guy's on drugs. <laughs> well, can't really judge him for being on drugs, but like... <laughs> oh, there was also like choosing humanity. Or androids. I chose identity prisoner. It's going to be the murderer. Yeah. Oh, I could have copied the statue, but I didn't really care. Paint from the heart. Yeah. 
crowd. Oh, there was also... Oh, there was also two other choices. Serve breakfast. Hmm. There's also another thing. Okay. That was such a good story beat. Save. Uh, I want. Can I? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Side. I actually like this guy. <laughs>
Okay, that seems like a you wait here. That seems like a different house. Okay. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking name, whatever I say. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming it. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. Uh, Lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Same guy. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Uh, state he's in. Not worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. I know, right? Though it it, it does stink. So I could understand that. true. Holy crap, this place went to hell. blood I would say so we're taking samples for analysis red ice seems our friend Carlos liked a party Chris I want full analysis on the narcotics consider it done lieutenant hey 
Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. bit of evidence. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Hands up with the evidence. Go on.
The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. This attic is dirty. never knew about the attic or was or wasn't even told to clean up there that isn't Kara I was just defending myself What the fuck is going on? 
on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Found Deviant. Alright. There was... Holy crap, there... There's a whole lot of stuff during the crime scene. Hmm. Ink is neutral. Software instability. That's not good. Oh, there, there was a different ending entirely. I, uh, I don't have any friends who've played this. Uh, world stats. All right, so base scan customers. Lots of people do this. Buy another drink. Oh, 76% of people do this. Holy crap, lots of people do these. And that bang 3% that deviant. Okay, that was a different person entirely. But every... Todd. Oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. <sighs> All right, um, we've been playing for like two hours because this game is annoying and also very compelling to play. So, uh, I'm going to sign out. <laughs> uh, main menu, please. Hopefully it auto-saved where I was. I know, right? Is that compelling? All right. So thank you all very, uh, thank you all very much for coming. My name is Aura Chaos. We will probably not do that Friday. I won't really want to tr do either. Uh, what's in my Steam library right now? I have Metro Exodus and Mech Warrior Five. Uh, I will create a poll on the Twitters for either of those two games or even some more KTD and we will see which of those two games uh, gets uh, streamed on Friday. Uh, hopefully everyone will come on by. I, I will do more of this game on stream because it's really fun and also we could do like some live votes for which choice people want me to do. So that'll be cool. So do another and no. No. I uninstalled it. I'm not reinstalling it. So thank you all for coming for everybody. My name is Our Chaos. I hope you all had a good time. And I will see you Friday or Saturday if I'm not streaming Friday. Bye bye.